when I hanker for a real fine rare book, I always stop in at the Helton Book Gallery. I find it to be a manly, rugged bookstore filled with books that make my chest heave from a combination of expectation and release. Spoken like a true barbarian. Although I too find the Held von Book Gallery to be a most illuminating experience, a bastion of civility and intellectual decoration, it imbues my spirit like a foggy perfume, drifting like twisted orange fingers from the past. Oh, Jesus Christ, Elliot, listen to yourself, man. I'm surprised you could pull yourself out of your sawdust restaurants and oyster shells long enough to visit Heldvons. Probably depressed everyone in the place. What depressed me, Mr. Hemingway, was the sad fact that I noticed last time I was there they had more first edition copies of your works than they did mine. Fortunately, I don't put shotgun muzzles in my mouth when depressed, like some literary gorillas I might mention. And there's the rub of it, fella. If you were that masculine, the world would have been spared decades of your faux British Nancy boy sniveling. Oh, I've measured out my life in coffee spoons. Boo hoo. You're just so precious. Makes me puke. As I did, halfways into The Sun Also Rises, which, incidentally, the Heldvon Book Gallery had a very handsome first printing of at a very reasonable price. I didn't notice. I go to Heldvon's for the sets of leather. Nothing like the smell and feel of tanned hide make a man feel vital. Yes, well, hardly surprising, that. I prefer the antique children's books, the wonderful illustrations, the delicate sense of wonder. Perfectly natural. For a man who writes poems about cats and disturbing the universe, the world ending with a whimper and all that bunk. Hack. Brute. Why don't you go hunt something? Why don't you go find a table and etherize yourself? Oh, do shut up. No. Yes. 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 No.